Hi YouTube, it's me again, TCG, and welcome to, well, just a little news video. Uh, what I decided to start doing on my channel is showing off new cards from sets as they release. Um, I really want to wait until sets are fully completed, or, or completely revealed at least, before showing off the cards, just because then I'd be able to look over every single card, tell you which ones are competitive, which ones have potential to be competitive, or which ones just have the best art. But right now, I'm way too excited to wait for all that, because, uh, let's see if I can't make this bigger... Um, yeah, that looks good, uh, because this is a brand new set in Japan called Legendary Hollow Collection. Actually, its official name is Legendary Shrine, but, oh well, this is a mini set that's going to release next month to coincide with Hoopa and the Clash of Ages movie. Um, as you can see here, this is what the booster pack art will look like. Uh, I'm remembering to record in high definition this time, so that helps. Um, Let's see if we can't zoom in a little bit more even. There we go. Look at that. Look at those booster pack arts. Those look absolutely amazing. I, you know, uh, as many of you know, Lanias has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. And uh, now we have the Llama God on the other pack art. So Sadaze loves this as well. I really want to get this set, but Ami Ami doesn't have pre-orders for it yet. So, eh. Who knows? Yeah, yes, I do want to open up this set in Japanese. We'll see if I'm able to, but it's definitely on my to-do list. We got so many awesome Pokemon here. We got, of course, Pikachu, because Ash's Pikachu is going to be with Ash in a Pokemon movie, so there's that. Anyway, so uh, we also have Dialga, Latios, Latios, Reshiram, which is one of my favorite uh, legendaries. Then we have the Llama God, Hoopa, Regigigas, and Black Kurim, which is really, really awesome. I'm very happy about this. Anyway, so let's get to looking at what the rest of these cards are. Alex. Alex. <laughs> My cat just woke up. He's a little grumpy. So we have Hoopa EX, which is an absolutely beautiful card. I love the simplicity of the design of it. It really does remind me of the Meloetta EX from uh, Radiant Collection. And in fact, this whole set does remind me of Radiant Collection, except honestly better, just because there's so many other good cards in it. Radiant Collection only had five. Um, this one has, well, it looks like there's way more full arts and stuff than regular cards. Anyway, we have this full art Regigigas. Let's see if we can't make this bigger. Yeah, look at this card. Doesn't that just look beautiful? And there was actually a picture that I forgot to pull up before starting this of the, um, these cards all coming together and forming one big picture, which would be absolutely amazing. This is the card that most people are excited for. This is our very first Llama God card that we have had since 2009. So this is going to be really, really awesome. Sad is excited for this card because this is her favorite Pokemon. I'm excited for this just because the art looks absolutely beautiful. It's not going to be playable in any by any means, but it's still pretty cool. <clears throat> we have this White Kirim, which is... Um, really really uh, beautiful looking and honestly the Kirim uh, Pokemon aren't even my favorite legendary is nowhere close but this just looks beautiful so then beyond that we also have this Halucha um, all those were full arts not EX's but full arts uh, we got this Halucha based off of Ash's Halucha we got this Dedenne based off of Clement and or Bonnie's Dedenne depending on who you're talking to we have this Breaksin based off of Serena's Breaksin and this is absolutely beautiful art all these are on Pokebeach if you want to check them out yourself and then we have these with text that's just too small right now to translate so they're down here but the art still looks beautiful we got the full art Reshiram right there above my uh, webcam we got this Palkia full art and my probably my favorite card from this whole set Latias full art which looks absolutely beautiful um, and then we got a little Noiv Noibat and Braviary in the background which looks awesome we got Latios in the background of this Palkia um, it looks like Reshiram's all on its own which is fine Oh man, this is just such an awesome set. Like I said, normally I would wait until the entire set has been revealed before showing off the cards, telling you stuff about it. But um, I was just too excited to hold this back. Plus, everyone's excited for when there's a new Arceus card because, like I said, first one in six years. So this set releases in Japan in July. There's absolutely no information yet on an English release. We'll see. I, I do hope that it's released... It might be released with our Ancient Origin set as a subset. It might be released as its own little thing like Dragon Vault. We'll see. Um, 
it'll be definitely interesting to see what happens in the future. I hope to get this, and if any of you see it go live in AmiAmi, Ami, just send me a message on Twitter. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for watching this update video. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more.